Hi everybody, it's Gail the Happy Stamper. I wanted to share with you what I've been working on all week. Uh, things have been very busy here. We moved our son out a month ago and he just got a job from the state of Illinois and is moving back. So we're going to go move him back this weekend. But all during the week to calm my nerves, I've been working on a recipe scrapbook album for my mother-in-law for Mother's Day. I don't know about you guys, but scrapbooking is my home. You know, it mellows me out, kind of puts things in perspective. So it has helped calm the nerves quite a bit for me. So I'm not finished. I've got a good portion of it done, though. And um, then the next weekend, we'll be picking our daughter up from college, moving her back home. So I thought I better start this this week, and I'm glad I did. So this is an album that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't know really who it's by, but it's an 8.5 by 11 uh, scrapbook. And... I should say the pages are eight and a half by 11. The book itself, no, yes, that's right. The book itself is actually 12 by 11, but my pages are eight and a half by 11. So I just thought I'd share with you, but this is a fun idea. And if you have a mother-in-law that likes to cook like mine does, um, it really makes a great gift. And she didn't have a album or even like a recipe book so I thought I'm gonna make one for her uh, this first one just says grandma Meyer on it and it says the recipe of I hope you can see that without any glare sorry um, so it just says a recipe from the kitchen of and I stamped out grandma Meyer and put a little coffee cup and some lace and a little bling and some cute little pearls. So uh, this is going to be all of her recipes. And then I used recipe cards. I got these from, again, these came just from Hobby Lobby and they're just these blank ones. And so I've used some of these and these are by the Paper Studio. And then I also use, these are really cute. I got these on sale. These are by Simple Stories. There's, uh, let's see, six different designs. I think you get two or three of each one. But I got these on sale, and they're really cute. So this is what I used on my first page. And that's this. And then I just used a little doily. And then over here... I just, you know, use some cute papers, and I have my paper pack over there. I just stamped Enjoy and this great big salt shaker. And for that, I used this stamp set from Little Yellow Bicycle. And I'm not sure what it's called, but it's just a cute little salt shaker, and I got that on sale as well. The paper packs that I used, I've got two here. The first one, this is Cartabella, and this is Homemade with Love. And this has got a lot of cute stickers with the KitchenAid, oh, excuse me, stand mixer. Now my papers are falling out. Oops. But that was the first set that I used. And then the second set is homegrown. This is an Echo Park. Look how cute that pickup truck is. And I love the bicycle. But this is kind of a country and all good things, you know, homegrown. So I thought this would be really fun. And this has some really cute, pretty papers in it too. So that's what I've been using. And then I'm cutting my pages down. So this next page over here uh, this page, I just used some washi tape and the white cards, and then this was a really pretty image that I, it was a 12 by 12 piece of paper that I just cut, um, you know, to use on my page here. And then this is another page, and I just used some of our Stampin' Up! doilies, 
another pretty paper with a couple of recipe cards and then this cute sticker and again just some washi here's another page this one I put a little clip on at the top uh, but again I used some of the cute papers from those paper packs added a cute little fork and a knife and a spoon and then just some little corner details and of course I had to add a pretty flare and this is another page I'm trying not to get a clear I apologize I put them in these eight and a half by eleven pocket pages so if she gets food on them then she can just wipe them off and then this one it says total foodie and I use some of these cute little measuring cups and just added some of the recipe cards here these cards were it was a 12 by 12 sheet and then I just cut it all apart and I'm using the cards you know favorite food things like that just on the different pages so that's where this came from that says total foodie and this one says mix it up and I kept that just very simple this one's really cute I love these stickers I believe these were from paper studio look how cute this little apron is and the little mitt or the glove so again I used a variety of different things stickers you know from different lines uh, but basically I stayed with all the color scheme from the paper pack this one was really sweet too and it says love being in my kitchen this was some stamping up trim down here that I used from a Valentine pack with some of the pearls this is some of our buttons and a cute little sticker that came from the Cartabella pack and then I just put down uh, two more recipe cards and again she can pull these out really easily like so and then just slide them back in so they're protected this page I wrote recipe notes and again I used one of those cards and then I've added here just some individual cards with a pocket and I had originally had this page just out without a cover and then the darn it all if the little hole punches didn't rip so here's another page and it says share down here with one of those cards and this says happy tummies and notes and she can make little notes and things of whatever she needs to so then my next category I'm doing like main dishes and then this next category is going to be fruits and vegetables so I used my Cricut and I cut out these are some radishes I thought that looked really cute with this paper the gingham paper and gosh these are some Mrs. Grossman stickers that I use that I've had forever but I love scrapbooking with stickers I really do so this just says homegrown and I just made a little flag and again I use some stamping up doilies this one has a couple recipe cards down here I used a little wooden coffee cup and a little wooden um, piece that says life is good and I love the carrots on the paper and then the life is good and that little coffee cup came from the paper studio gemstones and they were these and then it also had some bling let's see this one was just some stickers that I had uh, that I thought you know were cute and kind of fun little house this page again I used my Cricut cartridge I'm not sure which one this came from to be honest with you but I loved the paper with the little water cans and things so I thought that would be cute for a vegetable page and this wooden piece I had in my stash and I just thought it kind of reminded me of a cheese grater so I thought that would be cute again I use these cards here this says eat and just added a nice big flower sticker there and used the recipe cards this one says cook and I just added a little carrot and just a little something there between the recipe cards this one says let's eat 
uh, and I just cut out, fussy cut a little tomato, and I used a paper background, but it looks like it's on burlap. The paper's burlap. It's really cool. This one says best find. Again, I made a pocket. I added some lace. lace. I stamped the word notes at the bottom. Added some more cards. This one, it just again is a page for notes. I punched a little heart with my Stampin' Up! Heart Punch. Life is Better With You sticker. Here's another one that I used some fun stickers. Again, I believe these came from the Paper Studio and they're just adorable with the little spatula and the wooden spoon. And this stand mixer is so cute. Uh, but I just added a couple of recipe cards there. And then this page, which is uh, how far I am. I use some of the stickers from the paper pack. The paper has cute little whisks on it, and it says sugar and spice. So that's how far I am. Um, I am going to be doing main dishes. Uh, what else? Main dishes, fruits and vegetables, and then I'm going to do desserts. So that's what I'm going to finish up with tomorrow is desserts. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little share, and then I'll work on decorating the cover. But um, it's really been a fun project to do, and these are just some of the fun little things that I will decorate with. So have a great rest of your week, you guys. I'll share this with you when I am all done, and hopefully I'll get to that tomorrow. All right, take care. Hugs. Bye.